Kembali to Brand Social Learning. In this episode, I want to share with you a bit of knowledge on how to scatter um, cubes on the default cubes. I will be using random flow and also geometry nodes. The difference here, um, let me show you the X-ray. Um, the one that's actually uh, using okay, the one that's actually using geometry nodes is going to be cleaner because I'm using uh, special processing here. And after you clean the inside of the boxes because they are kind of on top of each other originally. If you are using random flow, the one using geometry nodes, the clean one can produce um, a more interesting final result in the end, which is this guy over here, which is just an extrusion of the face based on the topology generated using random cubes. Okay, so scattering cubes or boxes on the default cube is really, really simple with geometry nodes, but I will show you the bo uh, both using random flow and geometry nodes. So this is the default cube, the base. I already have a uh, random flow installed. I highly recommend you. This is one add-on that needs to be on every blender, I think. So shift Q to trigger random flow. So there's a lot of things. The one I want to scatter, uh, I want to focus on is random scatter. Okay. By default, it's scattering cube. Okay, so that's it. It's, uh, it's really simple. It's going to scatter a cube and it's, it's going to generate this cube, which is the scatter based on the cube surface. It's really basic. If you lo look at the inside, actually uh, using wireframe, all the cubes, there's a smaller one even, they're just scattered on the surface of this box. Okay. So we're gonna do the same using geometry nodes. Uh, this is uh, also gonna be <clears throat> quite interesting. You know the, the basic drill. Distribute points on faces. It's gonna generate points on boxes. We're gonna recreate uh, the function here. Um, there's a pros and cons, but I think it's still interesting to know. So we're going to be using instance on points. Okay, so by default, this is what you get. <clears throat> Just default cube with uh, smaller cubes kind of scattered on top of it. You can resize the cube here. If you are thinking to put random value on the size, it's going to reject it. Okay, I don't like that. Um, it's actually prefer, it prefers for you to randomize the scale here on the instance okay it's a uh, yeah super basic um, what else if for example you want to uh, you can also use pause on this and it's gonna give you a different distributions if you want to turn this into mesh uh, you can realize this geometry so that's with the default cube uh, maybe I should also explain with the random flow of course it's it's more like a hands-on things okay this is another default cube shift Q random scatter so we can decide how many cubes we want to scatter we can decide on the scale a scatter size the seed randomizations the point position randomizations all that geometry nodes can actually do as well scatter the size this one, oh, you can randomize the seed X, Y, Z. So you, you have actually like a different different cube. <clears throat> so you're gonna end up with this. Still, if you look at the wireframe, okay. It's cube on top of cube. So it's a kind of overlapping. This is something that I want to get rid of. So back to this guy. If we realize, realize instances of, of this guy, And we can use uh, mesh boolean. If we turn this into union, what's gonna happen is gonna boolean based on each geometry mesh. It's gonna get rid of the inside of the cube. So this is one way. And we we also gonna bring in the original geometry. This is probably 
just uh, something that uh, that you want. It's like cleaner inside, so it's a bring. It brings the default cube, and using self intersections as well. It's gonna so it's gonna have like give you like a clean cube. So this is probably better than um, random flow one, but random flow has a lot of a lot more features that we can use a bit later all right so that's the mesh boolean um, if you okay I forgot to explain if we bypass everything so we, we can basically randomize the seed right and we can also basically randomize the scale so seed scale we have control and also this is the minimum and the maximum size of the cube we have control over that as well and this is i forgot a scale instance you can also scale the instance randomly in different axes so you want to use combine xyz and random value for each of this so I'm, <clears throat> I'm like a recreating uh, the function of random flow in real time so this is should be pretty interesting we should get interesting result and then we simply uh, gonna realize the instances and then do the mass boolean union wait a few seconds because we have a lot of boxes and it's gonna do like mesh boolean on top of it now if you look at the wireframe we have clean objects without the inside of the cube okay cool and then we have control over the seed so so every time I change the seed however if if we are using the realize and the mass boolean is gonna take a few seconds to update so that's basically what I want to show you now the next process is gonna be just random flow and some um, explorations of the design there's a lot of uh, cool features in blender like you can also play around with the grease pencil and just to make just to render the outlines of the cube that's gonna give you interesting render so I just I duplicated the objects it's actually doing another calculations I think it's faster with the blender 3.2 I'm using 3.1 uh, yeah okay cool I have the bake version here without geometry nodes topology is nice and clean now we can proceed Q or oh, actually shift Q go the into edit mode first select all the faces now I can go shift Q I can for example random color random color by based on island or face oh this one doesn't randomize based on the face so cancel that get rid of vertex color so back to original shift Q random loop extrude okay so this is what we have learned in the previous um, episode you can have uh, multiple loop extrusions if you hold shift and then click on this value maybe for now try three and then you can increase the number of what is this subdivision or seed per loop and loop subdivisions so there's a lot of interesting things happening with random flow that we cannot cannot really see it's basically that it's doing like recursive extrusions multiple level of extrusion i'm gonna cut the base as well see if that gives me more detail 
Oh, dude, it's gonna take a while. So what I believe. Oh yeah, okay. It, it finished, and what we get is one, two, three. Extrusion and subdivisions. This is what I think really powerful. Uh, this is really powerful feature of random flow based on the extrusion and recursive selections uh, yeah it generate this beautiful result and now you can select all these objects and then do a shift Q again random V color based on objects island selection and you can randomize the seed of the color the seed of the saturation seed of the value the value actually can be 100% so you don't if you don't randomize the value much uh, randomize per island give you the most color for each object actually for each polygon face for each island it's gonna give different color so this is also pretty cool I think so again, the, what I'm showing you here, this is just like random boxes scattered on to, on the surface of default cube. This one is the same thing using geometry nodes, but again we are using the mesh boolean, so we clean up the inside. So this is the clean versions, and we actually scatter. Uh, we extruded the face of this guy, and it's uh, it's giving us this result, kind of like a gribble. So if we hide some of these, I'm using H. If I would, I want to render just the, the edges, I'm gonna put this into new collections. I call it grid. Now I want to put the camera, it put the uh, frame the camera align active camera to view gonna make this square and I want to use line art collection line art so it's gonna use it's gonna create this line art and I will use the grip objects okay we have something right the the line art and we can adjust the thickness and the color. I believe the color is actually black color. Yeah, you see what's uh, what's happening. put this into the grip as well so yeah this is the result that you will get switch this to cycles let's see if this renders correctly yep background color get rid of the grid so we have grease pencil on the fly rendering the, our objects from the camera angle So if we rotate and yeah, we are rotating the camera, whatever inside the camera will be turned into this outline. Is this grease pencil? Oh, I think really powerful features. Um, if you want to do like this type of, uh, maybe like for manga panel or i don't know for architecture it's uh it's beautiful all these squares and lines there is no overlap because we don't have the inside um, but we can i believe we can turn that on somewhere here anyway play around with this i increase the thickness occlusion level this is i think yeah it can give you the inside 
So if you turn on range, yeah, it's gonna render the inside if you want. What else? We can also use length, okay. With length, it's gonna push the line a little bit more, so it's gonna ex extend the line, so it's kind of more art, art, artful kind of result. So yeah, this is just an, another idea that you can do with just the default cube, scattering of smaller default cubes, and then, you know, just, I think it's it has some, some kind of nice, beautiful result. Okay, so yeah, hopefully this is useful. So thanks again for tuning in. I think geometry nodes and random flow are really powerful. They can work together like this. All you need to do is just create an interesting base objects with uh, with a nice topology and then you you do then do like random extrusions and yeah this is the result all right thanks again and i'll see you next time thank you bye